fellow Nigerians, my name is Comrade Timmy Frank. I'm a defender of democracy, and I want to use this opportunity to call all lovers of democracy locally and internationally to come to the aid of the Nigerian people. The election that was held in Nigeria on the 25th of February practically has been the most fraudulent election since the existence of Nigeria. We remember President Muhammad Buhari has been promising Nigerians for the past few months that his government was going to conduct free, fair and credible election. We remember President Buhari has been assuring the international community that the election in Nigeria was going to be free and fair. But suddenly, today we are mourning democracy in Nigeria. Today is a dark day of our democracy. Today is a sad day of our democracy. That what President Mohamed Buhari promised Nigerians is not what he's doing. That what President Mohamed Buhari promised the international community is not what he's doing. Today, this election that was conducted on the 25th of February, under the watch of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has practically become the most fraudulent election in the history of Nigeria. This is an election that Nigeria's taxpayers' money was used to conduct over $2 billion. This is the most expensive election in the world. But today, what was the outcome? The outcome was the biggest disappointment that the will of the people was not allowed to reflect in the ballots. What we saw was allocation of votes by the INEC, by the electoral body, to the ruling party. This is not what Nigerians voted for. Nigerians did not vote for continuation of APC. And I want to remind all Nigerians that what has transpired today in Nigeria, if we keep quiet as a people who will regret to live this day, is a dark of our democracy. It's not all about Atiku Abubakar. It's not all about Peter Obi of the Labour Party. It's not all about Rabbi Muksa Konkoso. It's all about the Nigerian people. Our destiny must be given to us. Nigerians came out in mass to vote for a new Nigeria. Nigerians came out to vote to change a party that has killed young Nigerians. But unfortunately, this so-called election that President Mohamed Buhari promised that was going to be free and fair, Sadly, it's the worst. And we must not accept this result. We must do everything within the ambit of the law to challenge the ruling party, to challenge the INEC, that this is not what we voted for. And I want to use this opportunity to appeal to the President of the United States of America to come to our aid to save our democracy. President Joe Biden, with all urgency, I use this medium to appeal to you, to reach out to you, to the American government, to do everything, to call President Mohamed Buhari together, to order, to ensure that this election that has conducted on the 25th must not stand because it does not reflect on the people of Nigeria, the wish of the people of Nigeria. I use this opportunity to call on the UK Prime Minister not to recognize this election result that is about to declare by the INEC. I use this opportunity to talk, call on the EU, the European Union, to do the same, and the United Nations. Nigerians, this is time for you to fight to defend democracy. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Whatever Nigeria does, every other African continent, Every other African country, we want to do the same. And this is not a good legacy we are about to leave for Africans. And I want to remind you, President Buhari, 
that is going to go down in history as the worst president, not just in Nigeria, but the worst president in Africa, and the worst president that has conducted the most fraudulent election in Nigeria, if you allow this to stand. Nigeria cannot accept a man that has been accused allegedly for drug issue in the U.S. We cannot have a drug president in the Nigeria country. So I appeal to Nigeria people home and abroad to stand up for their rights, to defend democracy. This is the time we must stand to say no to imposition, no to impunity. Because of us, we are concerned. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu has sold the will of the people to the ruling party. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu did the same thing in 2019. When the PDP won, he closed his eyes and declared President Buhari as president against the will of the people. In 2023, again, the same man has sold our mandate to the highest bidder in conniving with the security agencies. They imposed result on Nigerian people. A man today that they are about to declare as the president elect of Nigeria, Bola Metunubu lost in Lagos State. Bola Metunubu lost in his main original shoe state. How come such kind of a man has won? Most part of the North. How come such kind of a man has gotten 25% requirement in the South, South and the Southeast, where APC is not known? Nigerians must reject this result. We must not allow this result. We must not admit it to defend democracy. And we must say no to impunity and no to imposition. Thank you very much and God bless you.